No pain, no gain. Well, that phrase was coined and made popular in the early 1980s by Jane Fonda during her famous aerobic workout videos. And that phrase, no pain, no gain, um, definitely holds some truth when it comes to fitness. But what about in the big pains that we face in life? Does pain really result in gains for us and for our faith? Hi, my name is Tim Miller and I'm a member of Christ Lutheran Church. I'm part of our Aaron Outreach Church. Today I want to share a message of hope and strength with you from God's Word. No pain, no gain. Jane Fonda and every other trainer that's used that phrase during the workouts had a purpose for using it. They wanted you, the person working out, to believe that the pain you were going through during the workout was going to result in gain. In fact, if you didn't believe that it was good for you, the workout was good for you, or that there would be some benefit for you, what would you probably do? Well, when you're going through the pain, you would quit, give up, and never want to come back to that workout. But by trusting that that pain you were going through was going to result in gain, man, you would be willing to work really hard and then reap the benefits later. But what about the really big pains in our life? You know, the pains like cancer, uh, divorce, betrayal, anxiety, depression, chronic physical pain, or even the death of a loved one. These pains seem impossible to get through. Well, God doesn't tell us that no pain, no gain. He doesn't say that specifically, but he does tell us in 2 Corinthians 4, verses 16 to 18. He says, Therefore, do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen. Since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Did you hear what God told us? To not lose heart. To trust that the pain we are going through is going to lead to gain. Yeah, he calls it uh, small troubles, momentary light troubles in comparison to the gains that we're going to have. Oh, but right now, it seems overwhelming. Those pains seem too big to get through. So how do we get through those challenges? How and why? Why is this going on? Well, to understand it better, we can go back to Jane Fonda and think about the workout. Picture her yelling at you or someone else, hey, don't lose heart, no pain, no gain. Well, when she's yelling it at that person, their muscles aren't growing at that time. In fact, they're getting micro tears in them. They're being broken down. But it's the after that workout, the time of rest after it, especially with the proper nutrients, that the muscles will respond and grow stronger. And it's the same is true of our faith. When we're going through the challenging times, when we're going through that pain that seems overwhelming, our muscles, our faith is not growing. No, we need to take time to rest and to get the proper nutrients that nutrient is God's word, God's powerful word that allows us to trust his promises. And just like the passage told us to focus on what is unseen. Right now, all we can see is pain. But we focus on what is unseen, God's love for us, what he did by sending Jesus to be your savior, that eternal glory that's waiting for you because of Jesus. When we can focus on that, rather than the pain right in front of us, and we take time to rest and be in God's word, then our faith will grow. Oh, and what a blessing that is. God allows that pain to help our faith grow when we don't do it on our own, but when we do it with the resting in God's word, trusting his promises. So I pray when challenge comes that you will not do it alone, that you will go to God's word and go to the people he's given you in his life to remind you that we need to rest, rest in God's promises because God loves you.